Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how I'm going to repair this uh, cut through. Let's just get started. Alright guys, let's just get started. If you remember when I painted the Mustang, there was a big run right here. Which the run, the clear coat moved the paint. I wasn't just going to be able to sand it down and buff it. So what I did, I got myself a block with 320 grit sandpaper, smoothed it down, and that's where it's at right now. Everything's nice and smooth. You can't even feel anything, so it's blocked. It's perfect. Now, what I need to do is sand the entire body. Why am I going to sand the entire body? Because this car... Yeah, go right ahead. This car does not have a seam, does not have a cut where I can, uh, like other cars, that they might have a cut here that I can use to cover it up and just do this section. No, this car is completely attached together, okay? So, I do need to re-clear the whole area. I already sanded this side. Everything's nice and sanded. I still need to scuff down a couple of parts, but that's what you need to do, which is good because if it had some orange peel, which this car did have orange peel, not a lot, you can't even tell, but when blocking it down or when sanding it down, you're going to eliminate the orange peel. You're going to eliminate the orange peel and you're just going to have a real nice surface which you come back, you re-clear it, you fix this area, you re-clear it and you have a nice finish. It's called the flow coat. All right. Let me show you how I'm going to sand it down. That way I won't get any more cut throughs and uh, finish it up. This is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to get myself the DA with an interface pad. You do need an interface pad. Okay, you do need it in order to flow coat it or you can block it. You can block the entire car, which is going to take a while, but it's perfect. So I'm going to get my myself the DA, an interface pad, and 600 grit sandpaper. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to, I'm not going to go uh, like uh, real hard on the DA. It's going to go slow. Because I don't want to, I don't want to burn through. I don't want to cut, burn through the clear and create more problems for myself. So, just hear the how fast this DA is going and see how I'm gonna be doing it. Now, all I'm doing, I'm just sanding. You see all this? This is orange peel. All I'm doing, I'm sanding until all this orange peel is gone. And I stop. I continue to the other area. Do not keep on going. It needs to be just smooth like this. Do not keep on going because you're going to cut through. You're going to go in through the, to the paint. You don't want that. All right? Just continue sanding. I'm going to keep on sanding it so that you can see uh, how it's going to look. Another thing guys, whenever you see these little swirls right there, I don't know if you can, the camera's picking it up, but they're little swirls, whenever you see that, your paper, your sandpaper, it's clogging up. You need to clean it. 
just get the, the blower, blow it off, and continue sanding. Alright, as you can see, it's going along perfect. Now let me just finish sanding the entire car and I'll come back. I don't want to have you looking at me just sanding the car, but let me finish sanding it. And there's another trick I'm going to show you as to what you need to do next after sanding it with the 600. All right, let me just finish it up. I'll be back. All right, everything has been sanded. Now I did not do any of the edges with the DA because I don't want to cut through. So I'm going to get a maroon scotch bright. I'm just going to sand it down by hand all the edges all the areas that the DA wasn't able to get into I'm gonna be sanding it with a maroon scotch bright That's it. All you gotta do is just sand it down. You don't have to go real deep. Just as long as it's scratched and you're good to go. Alright, after a couple of hours of sanding, everything has been sanded that's gonna be re-clear coated. Now, after this, after you've sanded the, the corners and everything, let me show you a trick that's gonna help you out a lot. All right, get your DA with an interface pad. The interface pad has to be Velcro. You're gonna get a gray scotch bright. You're gonna put it on the DA. It is gonna stick to it. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut around, making it as a sandpaper. Why? Because I'm gonna go all over the car with a gray scotch bright. That's gonna help me smooth everything out and get it ready for that clear coat. There it is. Everything's done. Now I'm going to have to just clean it up and uh, start masking it. Okay, let me turn the car around and uh, clean it up and mask it up. I'll bring you back once I'm going to start shooting the clear and what I'm going to do there. There it is. Everything has been covered. We're ready to go. Let me mix the paint. Start applying it. The mini gun I'm going to be using, it's my A and I, Ani. R160 paint gun, HBLP. All right, it's a mini gun. That's what I'm gonna be using to cover that up and re-clear it.
there it is three coats came out real nice now if you saw me use this this is a blower what I'm doing I'm just forcing the paint to dry a little bit faster reason being that I want to uh, put the three coats as quick as possible so that I can uh, continue with the car that's the only reason I'm using this it'll help me just dry it up that's that's all it is I'll put the link where I got this from uh, it's a real nice tool when you're doing little uh, spot jobs like this so you can uh, just move on and there it is I got myself to clear the Grand 7 clear I know that in the website it says that it's sold out when back order I managed to get one I'm, all I need is one quart I'm gonna use some uh, slow activator reason being it's like 95 degrees in here so uh, I need the slow one but uh, Grand 7 thank you brother I needed this let's uh, just mix it up start the uh, flow coating the gun I'm gonna be using for the flow coat is gonna be my A50 Beyond Nova with a 1.3 tip alright let's get started and apply the flow coat also I want to thank blues man for sending me this Colorado plate brother thank you very much I really appreciate it let's get started
Here it is. Came out nice and glossy. Really, really, really nice. So this is another way you can do it in order for you to get a buffed finish, I guess. Just to flow coat it. Then you'll get a real nice glossy finish. Here it is. Let me show you the side. Right there, where it was repaired. Can't even tell. So, there it is, guys. Hope you like it. Hope you appreciate uh, the videos. And uh, this will be it. This will be it, guys. All right. Thank you very much, guys. Subscribe to the channel. And uh, I'll see you this coming weekend. All right. Thank you. And like always, God bless.